Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. I thought I would do a market review of the SPY. I do the Qs a lot. I thought I'd do the SPY this weekend simply because uh, there was something amazing that happened in the SPY this week, and guess what? It was a gap. So let's talk about it. This gap that happened here back on the 11th was a very good gap, and it is holding. And it's the one that created the momentum to get over this area here, over this big topping tail on the red bar over 169. Remember, these are areas. We got over 169 here. It was this bar here. Did a little follow through. Expected it to blow. It didn't do it right away. It rested, rested, rallied, and held strong, even though we didn't have a fat green bar. And look, we could have very easily come in. I know everyone's saying, well, we're extended. We were never really extended, okay? The gaps are real. They're forming themselves in the right, proper form and fashion. And all these kind of sideways little days in here, these small little body days, are the market coming in but not really going anywhere. And this is actually the way that it's coming in. It's coming in by doing these things but still holding. I mean, it's really something. So anyways, this all was holding in here. And then a top and tail happened here and it couldn't get over the high. Does it mean something? No. I knew the market was still higher. And the next day we gapped up. On the first, the first, the beginning of August, we gapped up. And this is actually a very good bullish gap. And you could have bought it. You could have bought it. This is real. It's a quality bullish gap. It's going to follow through. I knew it would follow through the next day. Thought we'd get up to 172, 171, 171, 170, 150, 172 possibly. I'm waiting for a big fat green day. We're going to do it in here somewhere. I don't know where. I don't know when. We could have done it Friday. We didn't. We closed Friday very bullishly, though, here. Actually, if you look at this, the way we closed on Friday, 3.45 in the afternoon here, we just ran out of day. Like, actually, if the market was open until 7 o'clock at night, we probably would have gotten up to 171.50 or 172. We could have very easily got to that point. So the overall direction of the SPY is continuing in the form and fashion that I've been reading it for the last several months. The direction is up. We are in an uptrend in the SPY. And even all these days in here that look like they're going to break down aren't even doing it. They very well could have. I mean, we could have actually come in here to a support, retested, and then gone higher. We kind of did it here in this bar. That's the amazing thing about reading charts and price. Like on this day, we gapped up and ran down here. In fact, let's take a rate of this so you can see it better. So do you see that this is a support area? It was resistance when this when this happened here, but it's really support because the stock spies in an uptrend. So when this happened here and we rallied and we gapped up, we came down into the support on the day you made the tail and then lifted higher and rallied and then have continued. And that's actually going to hold. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to hold this, but to be honest with you, this is a great gap and it very well could. This is going to hold. This is very clear. And look at that. Really something. So very important to understand how to read trends, not just in stocks, but the market. How do you learn how to read trends? By learning how to read gaps. The gaps that are happening in the market. The gaps that are significant. Not every gap that happens in the market or a stock is significant. That's why you need a system to rate the gap, to determine if the gap is real and going to work or not, or is a nothing gap. There are many, many gaps that are nothing gaps. However, there are gaps that are significant gaps, and that's why you have to learn how to read them. Read the gaps and read trends. I teach two classes, one on how to rate and pick gaps using a 26-point rating system to determine if the gap is good, and two, I teach a class on trends, how to read trends in stocks in the market. The trends class is coming up. It's going to be on August 12th and 13th. It's an eight-hour class split up into two days. The cost is $9.99. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. And the next gap class is going to be in two weeks, August 17th and 18th. And that class, I teach how to rate gaps in the 26-point rating system. In fact, I'm teaching a class right now this weekend. I'm on a lunch break. It, you know, this is such good information. It, it took me a long time to figure this stuff out. And as time goes on and the longer I trade and as the years go by and as I'm teaching people my information and system, I'm recognizing the power. 
not just in the power of the information that I use to trade in and teaching people, but the very essence in the power of the gap. And I don't think that anyone should take any live position with money in the market unless they understand gaps, even if they don't trade the stock or the market the day of the gap, which by the way, once you learn gaps, you will. But if you even don't, you should still understand what a gap is and what it means and which ones are good and which ones are not. So it helps you take other positions in stocks or exit them based on how to read the trend and the gap itself. It will help you trade better and more successfully and more profit and more consistency if you learn how to read gaps. There is nothing else that sets the price in a stock chart and tells you more information than a gap. And you have to learn which ones are good and which ones are nothing. So this is Melissa with thestockswish.com. Have a great weekend, everyone. If you're interested in the trends class or the next gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.